bell board. I always take a moment during Youth Sunday to um, share words of wisdom with our youth, but this year I've made a little change. I decided to um, share something that you have taught me as a class. You're an exceptional class, and I have decided to take this time to tell you what you have taught me. So, Vicki, <laughs> she's afraid. Um, when we were when you were in confirmation, you. We made a visit to a nursing home, and you dragged your feet going in the entire way. She did not want to go. Um, it was the most obstinate I had ever seen Vicki up to that point, I think, that she really did not want to go to the nursing home. And there was a picture included. Um, she sat down with an older woman who was um, and helping her play a game, and the woman was trying to tell Vicki something and she couldn't quite get it. And finally she looked at me and she said, she wants to go home. And it was um, difficult for Vicki, but she did it anyway. And she worked through it and she brought that woman joy. So the lesson that you have taught me is sometimes we have to do things that we don't want to do. And um, it works, you, you can make a difference in someone's life by doing that. So thank you. Danielle. <laughs> Danielle and I have not always seen eye to eye on mission trips. <laughs> we have often argued. Um, <laughs> but one thing that Danielle has taught me is even if you don't always like your supervisor or get along with um, the person that's leading you or even if it's under terrible conditions. I don't know if you noticed the picture of um, work we did last year on a mission trip. We were introduced to this garden of weeds taller than most of us, and we were expected to clear them out so they could um, plant a community garden in um, an inner city area where they lack fresh produce. Um, so Danielle, it was raining, it was miserable, it was hot and rainy and sticky and everything that could be in awful weeds, and Danielle was a very hard worker actually inspiring other people to keep working. And so, Danielle, from you I've learned that even under the worst of circumstances, get it done. <laughs> Work hard, get it done. And uh, I think that lesson will, will serve me and you well in life. And then Cantrell. Kevin and I share a personality um, shortcoming, shall we say? Yeah. Sure, we'll call it a shortcoming. The ability to be somewhere on time. <laughs> Although Kevin was the first one here this morning. I had the speech all planned and then you show up first. No, you do one time with Melissa. Oh. Well, I knew when I was beating you to our meeting spot at the National Youth Event consistently that it was that you had a worse problem than I did, which is hard to say. But what I learned from you is how to be on the other side of that. I know now what it feels like to make other people wait for me. And more importantly, when you finally got a consequence because of your tardiness, you just did it. You bucked up, you did it, you're like, yep, okay. So from you, I learned to not make excuses when I'm late, but to just take responsibility. And that too will serve both of us well. Hopefully we can work on being timely like you were this morning. But um, the, taking responsibility is a huge part of being an adult in the world, and that will take you far. <laughs> He's wondering. <laughs> I probably let Daniel down more than any other youth. I'm sure I have um, let them all down at some point and made mistakes. I am human. Sorry. Um, but I probably let Daniel down more than anyone. And it's easy um, to look at things and say it's a joke, it's just a word, or Sunday school class following. Um, today's service is on sticks and stones and that words matter and I think we need to you have taught me that Kindness should always come first And it was funny that Adam shared that story with you because that was something that you did out of kindness And so you have taught me that kindness should always come first it, You shouldn't just blow it off as a joke or a word or if someone needs to grow thicker skin that 
that's not always the best case, and I have to work very hard at that. Anyone who's known me for more than two minutes knows my sarcasm sometimes gets in the way. But you have taught me that, and you have taught me um, the lesson of forgiveness, because I think we've gotten past that, and you've forgiven me, and I appreciate that, and that we can go on and do great things together. So I give you the class of 2014 Trinity graduates who have taught us all kinds of lessons through the years, and I appreciate all that they have done.